The chevron braid wrap is my newest West Knit shawl, and I got really inspired by the twists and turns mystery knit along that we did in 2022. So I took that first section of the twists and turns mystery shawl, and I applied it into this large chevron wrap. So if you really love those increases and decreases with that graphic chevron motif, you're gonna get a beautiful big asymmetrical shape with the chevron braid wrap. So this is really fun. It starts really small and it's really fun because it uses so many colors for this multicolor version and you can just bind off at any time you want. So it starts really small. There's these, a few of these chevron motifs and these really fun loops. And if you haven't done the twists and turns mystery knit along, then this is gonna be a really fun new technique for you to try. But if you love the mystery knit along, then you're gonna get a whole adventure with that first section idea. But you basically just bind off and cast on stitches to make this ladder effect. And you do that three times in the chevron braid wrap. And then you like braid loop them together. So you just take one of them and pull the next one through. And you do that all the way along that little spine. And you just keep on going until you pull all of them through. And uh, it makes this beautiful braided effect with this little chevron motif that echoes the zigzags of the fabric. So once you finish pulling all the loops through, you're gonna end with a final loop. And I just left my final loop hanging like this. And if you don't like that, then you can fold it to the wrong side and just seam it to the wrong side. Just get a tapestry needle and some spare yarn and just whip stitch that little loop to the wrong side of the fabric. And it's gonna make a nice little, it'll, it kind of looks like a tubular bind off kind of thing. But yeah, if you don't want that little loop hanging, then hide it. I like to leave my loops because I like to show my friends what it was. And they're like, what, what the heck? How did you make that thing? And then you can show them and have them do it. And they're like, oh my gosh, you're a genius. And you're like, West Knits made me a genius. It's okay. All right, so that's the little chevron braid loop. There's three of those in a column. And this large size was knit with West Wool Bicycle. I used the French gray colorway and West Wool Bicycle and mixed it up with lots of fingering weight yarns from my stash. So I used some sock yarns, some hand painted yarns and solid yarns. Some of them were really busy and speckly. This was a La Bienne May super sock, sock yarn leftover. And I had some ching fiber, some life in the long grass, some cows yarn, uh, K-A-O-S from Denmark. It's this really soft merino. I threw some of that in there. And this is like my whole bag of leftovers, if you can believe it. I knit this whole shawl and then you still had all these leftovers. So it's really fun to knit these scrappy stash busting projects because you get to mix all these colors that you're like, I don't know what to do with that. What does this go with? You just put it with a color palette and then if the colors aren't really working together yet, you just add more colors, okay? So there's like 30 colors in this wrap. So beautiful. I stuck mostly in the warm palette with corals and golds, taupes and browns but there was a red and some little blue speckles that popped in as well. So mix it up and it doesn't have to be too matchy matchy. But what I love about these kind of striped designs is that main color can help bring all the contrast colors together. So you're always seeing that gray. That's the main kind of impact of this shawl is it's that nice heathered smoky gray and that neutral really bonds all the colors together in gives them something in common. So you can make these random color choices like who would have thought to put that coral next to that bright yellow next to that weird terracotta navy color? I did, I had that yarn, so just put it in there. And if you're like, mm, I don't know about those colors, then make a different color sequence as you go. There's no color pattern to the color repeats of this shawl. It's always a different kind of color sequence. And when you run out of yarn, you can just add a new color and uh, make it special and make it unique, depending on what you have. So this is the large size. And these asymmetrical shapes, there's a big side and then there's a little skinny side. So when I wear these shawls, I like to put the big side on first on one shoulder. And then that long skinny end, I wrap around. So I love these asymmetrical shapes because there's so many different ways to wear them. 
and then you could tie the fabric if you want to keep it secure. You could do a little asymmetrical tie over there. But that's my favorite way is to put on that big end. And if you want to slouch it, you could drape it a little bit more and then take that little end. It's really long. So then you can really get fun, have some fun with draping it. So that's the large size. It's really cozy. And if you want to stop early, there's a small size in the pattern. So this is a two color version with La Bien Aimé Super Sock. And it's still a pretty big size. It's not quite as long as that big large size. Oh, I missed a loop. I'm going to have to redo that. Um, it's not quite as long as that large size, but it's still plenty big enough. Two skeins of each color to make this small size. So put on that big, big end on one shoulder, wrap the little end around, and you are good to go. So lots of fun ways to wear this. Again, with the small size, you're going to need going to need two skeins of that main color. This is the Blue Royale colorway from La Bien Aimé, and two skeins of the contrast color. This is our custom colorway at Stephen and Penelope called Westnitz Goes to Paris. We got inspired by all my trips going to visit Amy in her studio years ago, and it's that beautiful silver smoky gray. I, that's what I associate with Paris, is all those beautiful stone buildings, really sophisticated neutrals around the city. And then Westnitz in Paris is like, I bring the crazy pops. So we've got bright yellow and blue, neon green and purple and pink speckles. So Westnitz goes to Paris. It's that really, really fun, smoky neutral, but with the party pops sprinkled in there. So we have some kits to knit this shawl. If you want to do this two color version, you can check out our kits at stephenandpenelope.com or put your own palette together. So get creative. I want to see what your color choices are going to be for this. It's one of those designs that as you repeat the rows, it gets really, really easy. You can memorize the pattern and just keep on going until you want to bind off. So let me know in the comments, are you going to do a really graphic stripey two color version? A small size or are you going to dive into your stash and do this super colorful splashy stash buster so let me know down below are you going to do a graphic contrast or a scrappy stash busting version and i can't wait to see how you transform this pattern this was really fun to do with that neutral and color pop but i think it would be just as gorgeous with like a really bold color pop as the main color like what if the main color of this was like a coral or like a really juicy dramatic red? <gasps> that would be really super saturated. So have fun with this pattern. I'll link down below where you can get the pattern on Ravelry or Westnitz.com. And there's a lot of other fun shawls and sweaters coming out this year. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll give this pattern a try and enjoy that little braid loop technique. Really playful, really simple, but with a big graphic impact. So enjoy the Chevron braid wrap and I'll see you in the next video.